Deuteronomy chapter 21 is kind of like a modern day Dateline show. It has to do with unsolved murders. What do you do with a man who's found slain in a field? It has to do with beautiful women who are captives of war and their widows and who gets to marry them. It has to do with rebellious children. It has to do with all these different things that God is trying to instill in a nation for a foundation of what's right, what's just, what's holy, and what's good as they begin to build the nation. God is teaching them some very practical, righteous living. People who, well, they live right, they live justly. And, and God is teaching them to honor his word and to honor one another and treat one another with respect. And so he is, well, from this Deuteronomy chapter 21, showing how God is building a society that responds correctly to one another and to the Lord and to his word. So God, like a good heavenly father, is teaching his children some of the basic righteousness of life. This is how you respond in a situation when this goes on. And this is how you treat these people when you've kind of taken captive slaves. And this is what you do with a rebellious child. And this is how you solve these issues. It, it reminds me of what Jesus said. And I want to read a verse from Matthew. He says, therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken them to a wise man who builds his house on a rock. God is telling them how to do certain things so that they can build a foundation that's wise, that's stable, and that's good for society. Jesus would also say in the book of Matthew chapter 7, he says, whatever you want men to do to you, you also do to them, for this is the law and this is the prophets. And this comes from Jesus, but goes all the way back to Moses, where God is saying, treat people this way. And God, like a heavenly father, has instilled into mankind through his law and through these principles what it means to live justly, rightly, and lovingly to one another. And so in this chapter, we find God laying that foundation like you would lay a foundation for a house, a rock, and he's building a nation that'll, well, it still lasts today. And God is still building a people through Jews, Gentiles, all the nation on righteous living and how to honor him and how to treat one another.